I welcome you to a day in our life. This is the show where you get a little bit of everything. This is another episode of the Wonder Bill Show. The Wonder Bill Show. Good morning, YouTube. It's been a little while since I did a car chat with you on the channel here. Uh, I used to do these all, like, probably at least once a week where I would just kind of sit and talk about life in the car before going into the gym because that's when I do a lot of thinking. That's whenever I get caught up on work. It's kind of like my little quiet time. I feel like it's also kind of a mom thing or maybe just a parent thing where you just kind of take a few minutes to just breathe by yourself. So that's what I'm doing right now. And I thought I'd hop on and just update you on life and the house and just goals and things of that sort because I like to just check in every now and then because it helps me get my thoughts out. But it also, I, I know that a lot of you find these chats helpful, informative, encouraging, whatever they may be. May be. So feel free to grab some coffee, grab a drink. I got my pre-workout. And we'll just kind of have a little chat. So we've been in the house for almost a month now, I think. I, I lose track of the weeks, but I think it's been almost a month. It's been several weeks for sure. And we are really, really settling in. No, it's not done. Yes, that's frustrating, but it is what it is. The main thing that we're still trying to get done is the stucco. But because of the insane amount of rain that we've gotten here it's rained consistently enough to where we don't have consecutive dry days for one the stucco to dry but two our road to dry so that people can get out we have plans of building a road but that is a bunch more money that we are going to have to work on saving we didn't know that it was going to rain this much while the house was being finished otherwise we probably would have had the road built beforehand so there's that. We're waiting on Wi-Fi to get connected. A guy came out on Friday to take a look at the land and let us know what he had to do. They were supposed to come out Saturday, but they didn't show up. So we were talking to my family yesterday and my dad was like, do they know Pablo? It's like, probably at this point, it's our luck. They just didn't show up, which I mean, this is a, this isn't just like a random person. This is a, the, like a corporate company. And so it just, it's kind of weird to me that they just didn't call and didn't show up. So Wi-Fi wasn't hooked up on Saturday, which means that we are using our hotspots for all things internet at home, work, uploading YouTube videos. It's not good. So we're hoping to get in contact with them today. The company itself is very problematic, uh, but they're the only provider, the only internet service provider out where we live, which I think is a complete scam. But anyway, uh, nothing we can do about it besides just pay for now. If we find something better, if there's another option in the future, we will definitely go with it. So that's internet. Everything with the house has been so great. You saw that Eva's room is, is pretty much finished and we love it and she loves it. We've just been having so much fun and I just like, I'm still so relieved to be in the house because I feel so much more at ease. We can stretch our legs. We have separate spaces. When Eva goes to bed, Matt and I don't have to sit on the floor in the dark, in the quiet, in the RV. And that alone is so nice. She goes to bed. We, you know, she's got her sound machine on, which is, which is fine. Like that that's plenty of sound so that she doesn't hear if we have the TV or I don't know if I drop anything in the kitchen. 
but we're able to go into another room and into the kitchen. We can watch the big TV. We've been watching movies at night and just relaxing. And we actually have the elliptical set up in the office now. And so I did cardio last night while Matt was putting her to bed. And that was really cool to not have to go outside to do cardio. And I did it in the room and we don't have blinds in that room yet. And so I was just in the dark, but I was looking outside and it was kind of creepy, but it was also nice. So that's really cool. I know that Matt and I are more able to step up our, our health goals right now. You know, it's, it's never really been an issue for me, but for him, he likes to cook and he wants to get, he's been on the elliptical every day too, because he wants to focus on his cardiovascular health, but he hasn't been able to when we've been in the RV because he doesn't always, he's not at the gym right now. He doesn't always get to the gym because he's at the office. And so he gets most of his stuff done at night and he didn't want to go outside and run at night. You just want to go down the elliptical. You can listen to audiobooks or watch YouTube videos, listen to music. So it's been so great. And I just feel like we, we're still a little uncomfortable because things aren't done yet, but we are so much closer than we were before. And now that Matt has an office, he can focus on his work at home a bit better. And he's got room for his, he, he likes to draw stuff out on whiteboards. And last night we were talking about future, like, business goals and future financial goals and investments and that's that whole realm is beyond me so maybe he can talk with you guys about it in the future but I'm I'm here for support and whatever he needs me to help with but we were talking about that and it's just been so great <laughs> like it has just been so so great just such a sigh of relief and I know that Eva's loving the space. We had some of my family over yesterday and we were able to all sit in the house and hang out. We haven't had people over in so long because one, we were either living in Matt's parents' house or my parents' house or in the RV, there's just no space. I mean, we, you know, we took everything out to be more functional for Eva and having a baby, but now it's literally just an empty trailer and there's no propane hooked up. And so having anybody over, it's just not, there's just nothing to do. It's not fun. And you know, the whole point of RV living is to travel eventually. And obviously we have not been doing that. And so being in the RV with a very active toddler and two active adults, it just wasn't what we needed right now. And we have plans of doing some things this summer, not not with the RV, but um, we want to, we actually want to get season passes to SeaWorld and take Eva to SeaWorld because they have a whole water park that's included with the season passes. And so I just think that that would be such a blast and it's not as expensive as Schlitterbahn or Kalahari. <laughs> so, um, oh, and kids under three are free. And so I just think it would be such a blast to take her. Obviously we'll do some vlogs whenever we go. We'll probably make a whole weekend of it or a couple days of it during the week and stay in a hotel and go for a couple days, just kind of like we did with Kalahari, but again, not as pricey. So I'm just really excited for the summer. I'm excited for our plans. I'm excited for our businesses to be able to thrive a bit better. I've been able to focus back more on my online coaching business. If you didn't know, I've been an online health and fitness coach since 2014, right around whenever I started this channel. And it's all me. I mean, it's all I take on my clients. I write their programs. I write their, um, you know, nutritional guidelines. I help with them with everything in between. We do the calls. It's all me. And so not having space to kind of stretch out and, and write, um, you know, I say write out the programs, but on my computer and just having space to do that, just mentally, I felt very limited. And now I just feel so much more clear headed. And then the YouTube channel, like I'm just excited to do more videos. Matt cooked over the weekend. And so I know that he wants to do some cooking videos, like recipes slash cooking videos. There are several of you that have mentioned wanting us to do that, but now that he's able to experiment with cooking again, we can um, finally start doing it. I might actually have him do a, a video of what he made us on Saturday. He cooked um, a steak. He said he overcooked it. I'm not picky. I thought it was delicious, but he cooked a steak and then 
did some shrimp with some kind of like seasoning. Then he made like a jalapeno cream sauce for the steak and then some kind of like coleslaw for the the shrimp so it was like a surf and turf thing and then he put his in tacos it was really good and i think that when he did it on saturday there were some bugs that not literally but some like little tweaks that he wanted to make to it and i think that now maybe we can do a video and he can do it i guess right in his try again i thought it was delicious but he said he wanted to make a few changes so we could do a video about that i do want to start doing some fitness hopefully bringing fitness friday back and doing some maybe workout videos. Um, you know, the cooking videos will be on Fitness Fridays because it's nutrition and fitness related. And maybe some nutrition tips. So if you have any questions as far as workouts, I'm sorry, the lighting is kind of weird. But if y'all have any questions as far as workouts, nutrition, um, healthy living, hitting your goals, any of that goes, please leave them below. I will save them on um, a list on my phone or write them down and have them for future Fitness Friday videos. So please, please, please let me know. And I'm trying to see if there's anything else. I just wanted to get this all out to just update you. Eva's two now, obviously. The last video was a, her birthday and I can't believe it. She is talking so much and it's the cutest thing ever because she'll mix in real words with like minion talk she sounds like a little minion and so it'll be like little gibberish and then she'll throw in words um a word that she learned recently was asparagus and you can go on our instagram her instagram's linked below but you can go on our instagram i posted a video of her at the grocery store because <laughs> we were looking i was pointing out the different fruits and vegetables and naming them and she would repeat it so I saw asparagus and I was like, that's asparagus. <laughs> and she, she tried saying it and I guess she thought it was a funny word. And so throughout the whole store, she would lean in and go, asparagus. But the way she said it, it's so cute. And then I would say it back and then she would just laugh. And it's just so cute. And she's starting to really understand us and we're starting to understand her a bit better now. And so I think it's going to be really neat whenever we go somewhere, somewhere like I said, like SeaWorld, it's going to be a bit more fun because she'll actually be able to understand where we are, what we're looking at. Um, and it's just, it's just going to be a blast. So it's just neat to see her really developing this little personality. And we can also talk to her, like have conversations and understand what she's saying. One thing she's obsessed with right now is baby shark. Oh my goodness. I thought that we had missed that whole craze nope nope she just she she finally hit it and so this morning um on her little little tablet she was watching baby shark over and over and over and i'm like can we please listen to something else and she just kept saying b shark which is baby shark and it's, oh it's so cute and it makes her so happy but it's playing in my head all day now and i just feel like i'm slowly slowly going insane but it's okay because she's cute and it, and she's happy so um really this lighting is just really bothering me but that's kind of the update what do y'all want to know if you want to know anything um put any questions below maybe we'll do a future q a as well any video topics you want to see any questions you want answered uh fitness workout nutrition topics leave them all below we'd love your feedback Thank you so much for watching these videos, for watching the channel. Every time that you guys watch, obviously it helps the channel. Comments, likes, subscribes, all of it helps the channel. And it helps our little community grow. So we appreciate every single one of you so much. And we've gotten so much encouragement and love during the whole house building process. And I just cannot thank you enough for all of it. It's been incredible and just a constant reminder that... Um, we're not alone in our struggles because a lot of you shared your experiences with building houses and, and having kit, like all of it. And it's just encouraging to know that we're not alone and that we have the support of so many people and it's just incredible. YouTube is, has just been such an incredible journey and we just appreciate every single one of you for sticking through all of the different seasons of life and we have enjoyed sharing them and I love looking back on them. So thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy these, this car chat, if you want to see more of these car chats, hit the thumbs up and let me know in the comments below. Again, if any topics you want to see, comments below. But that's it for today's video. I'm going to go work out and I hope you have a wonderful day and we will see you in Friday's video. All right, have fun out there.
Bye.